Hey gamers, I want to talk to this Young Yao and Jason Schreier discussion that happened amidst their battle on Twitter and why it turned from something that could have been potentially great into something that was real cringy. What went wrong? Let's talk about it. What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, yo, I know I haven't done a video in a while, but before we salivate over me coming back, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells so you get those notifications for me, please, if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? It helps out a lot. It makes it possible for your boy to drop these doses. I appreciate all of y'all as always straight up. But before we get too deep into that, let me explain to you who these people are if you've been living under a rock, how I've been introduced to these people, and why this discussion became a big thing in the first place. Well, Young Yao, all right, is a YouTube content creator. He has a very big YouTube channel, very huge. Uh, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, I believe it is. My man's a big deal, but funny enough, I did not discover Young Yao except for like a few months ago at the time of this recording. Now, Jason Schreier I've known for years, all right? And I want you to pay close attention to me mentioning that because that has meaning and has context to all this. Jason Schreier is a writer for the publication Kotaku. They're very well known, very provocative, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're not the favorite of Xbox enthusiasts like myself, you know what I'm saying? But Jason Schreier is uh, the writer, the author of a book that changed my whole perspective as how I look at games. The name of the book is Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. And I urge any gamer, anybody watching this channel to, to read the book. It, it, it's, it's very important to the mindset of the gaming industry. So what's happened is these two entities got into a disagreement over the BlizzCon issue over the announcement of Diablo Inferno. Uh, Inferno, excuse me. That is, uh, to, to, to give a little background to that, what happened there was Diablo Inferno, which is a mobile game, was announced at the BlizzCon 2018 event. It pissed off a lot of gamers. Not per se because um, they're working on a mobile Diablo game, but that became the keynote speech. And this and, and BlizzCon is a hardcore Diablo fan event. And for those of you that are uh, familiar with Diablo the game, Diablo is the fan favorite of a lot of nativist PC gamers. And, and, and I'm not trying to be mean there um, and, 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 and giving you that context as far as calling them nativist PC gamers. But these are people that believe that PC gaming is of God. And Diablo is something that's always synonymous to the PC. So when the people of Blizzard at the BlizzCon event mentioned to these people that traveled and paid money to come there that their keynote announcement would be of a mobile game, that caused a lot of ruckus. Well, because that caused ruckus, people like Jason Schreier that are deep within the industry called the gamers that gave Blizz, Blizzard, the company Blizzard, the maker of Diablo, a lot of backlash. They called them entitled and said a bunch of other things. Young Yao, the YouTube creator, content creator, had something to say against that. So that caused the back and forth between Young and Jason Schreier. And to settle it, Young invited them to the channel and they were to have a real informative discussion. Unfortunately, things didn't turn out that way. So first, let me go over the points they both made again, how it turned left, and lastly, like I said before, with my synopsis. Now, you could tell by all intents and purposes, Young wanted this to be a substantive discussion, not a verbal back and forth. So they started off okay. Jason, I think, is right in his mentioning of uh, this fake rage by gamers. They're mad about everything nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm dealing with this a lot about Fallout 76. I like Fallout 76. I'm not experiencing the issues and the bugs that a lot of people are talking about. Neither are the people that I game with, right? So when I tell people they need to experience this game for themselves, I get a lot of backlash because people want to be angry about something. Jason is right in that regard. 
He's also right that gamers often refute to do due diligence and better understand things personally before they quote unquote feel upset. You know what I'm saying? And he urges people to read Blood, Sweat, and Pixels to, you know, get themselves in tune to better understanding things and doing due diligence like he has to do for Kotaku. All right. And lastly, I think Jason is right that most anger is not geared to the right people because of said ignorance. Like, for instance, people are angry at Blizzard. Meanwhile, nobody says anything to the CEO of Activision Blizzard, Bobby Kotick, who brought home $28 million in bonuses within the last year for these same money grabbing practices across the board. Now, I think Young made a couple of good points as well. Young is right that without rage, all right, in the right situations, and just a little simple tap on the wrist that Jason may be alluding to, that these companies will not budge. And that's absolutely right per my experience with anything in life, with any business. When you bark the loudest, you get results the quickest, period. Young is also right that Jason is generalizing the crowd of gamers too much, particularly about BlizzCon. Now, the funny thing about it that Young points out correctly is Jason names a bunch of egregious things that Blizzard did at the conference, but then he narrows it down to people just being mad about a phone game, which is, that's not what the whole kit and caboodle was about regarding that instant. And I lastly believe Young is right, that Jason is being hypocritical when he points out gamers rage leaving his stain, but he cannot own up to the own stain of him telling dissenters of his opinions of Diablo Immortal to F all. It's okay for him quote unquote to express his anger, but gamers know and YouTube creators like himself, no, you can't do that. You're, you're, you're stoking the flames. Now, once those points were made, here's where the conversation went. <sighs> and, I, and I'm sad to say, because going into this discussion, I thought that I would agree more with Jason, honestly, due to my business experience as well and the balance I try to bring to this channel. I thought I would agree more with Jason than I would Yong, even though I like Yong's content. But here's the problem. Now, it turns left because Jason's crux of his anger, right, that he doesn't want nobody to show on the opposing side of what he believes. But the crux of Jason's anger is he personally feels that the game industry, gaming, the output, is the best it's ever been. And everyone should feel that way because he has a back catalog of Steam games. Like, come on, Jason. Now, due to this, he begins to show this anger. The same anger again he lectures Young about and he lectures him about his users th that they should refrain from and that Young needs to better regulate, quote unquote, <laughs> like he's the grand master here. He tells Young that, hey, I'm not comparing you to Alex Jones, but then he compares him to Alex Jones for posing questions. As Jason's rage begins to temper, he is brought to ask about his same approach to those who oppose his views correctly so by Young, as again, he's told people to F off that don't agree with them on Twitter. And what does Jason do? He dismisses that and blames Twitter for being a crappy program, he believes, because he's just giving random thoughts and the program doesn't translate that these are just random thoughts from Jason Schreier well. However, aren't YouTubers via social media also just sharing random thoughts? I mean, I get it, there's thumbnails and there's video editing, but they're just expressing their thoughts too. So why are your random thoughts, Jason, okay to just share? You know what I'm saying? And, and shouldn't be held to the same mise as a YouTube video that's full of Young's random thoughts. You, you see where we're going here? We're hitting the landmine of hypocrisy big time here and it's about to ex explode all over this quote unquote discussion. But here goes the most cringiest parts of the video to me. He then blames Yong for catering, catering his videos to report ridiculous things that shouldn't be talked about while admitting that the devs and the publisher's track record and pure communication resulted in these questions being posed in the first place. I mean, I, 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 I didn't get it. I, didn't, I don't understand. I, but you know what? If you haven't dealt with Jason in an interview before, 
you would have been taken aback. Fortunately, I have. And unfortunately for Young, Jason, even after the interview, took a couple more pawn shots, but we're not gonna get into that. I just didn't like the notion of the interview that this backlash that Jason was, was receiving was based off of Young's um, audience. If I am familiar with Jason, even much more than I am Young, then I can believe that Young's audience is familiar with Jason as well. They probably fall in the same boat where they've known Jason longer than they've been dealing with Young. And this is the problem. This is the hypocritical problem here. And let me say this before I get into my full synopsis. Jason's problem that is relevant in this whole interview is the simple fact that he wants Young and he wants Young's audience to not stereotype things that happen and work within the realm of knowledge before you even want to pose a question. But he cares not to understand the feelings of the guy that at the um, uh, BlizzCon event that made the April Fool's comment that he insulted and that he opened the door for others to insult, right? He doesn't want to understand the state of gamers and why they're angry because simply because he has a back catalog in Steam, right? But he does not feel that he needs to do the same to maybe reach out to these gamers and try to tap into what this anger is. You know what I'm saying? But he wants Young and their people in his audience to educate themselves on where he's coming from and what he agrees with, but he doesn't feel like that he needs to reach across the aisle to do the same. That extends to a level of hypocrisy, which is paramount. I, I, and I've dealt with Jason before, not personally, but dealt with listening to Jason in interviews before, and I've gotten a stench of that, but I never knew that it was at this level. So here is my synopsis. Jason, with all of his talents, with all of his resources, and the wonderful work that he's done. You cannot take that away from Jason. But Jason is very unattached from the consumer business relationship and courtesy of a client and customer relationship. And if you don't like it, Jason, I think you're in the wrong country writing articles because this is a capitalistic society, whether any of us like it or not. And in a capitalistic society, Businesses, whether you're painting, serving steakums, whatever the case may be, you operate off the mantra that the customer is always right. See, what Jason does is he associates too much blame regarding the woes of developers as being attached to consumer practices. When the problem is publishers' inability to think more forwardly on how to more effectively produce market and monetize their products and services. And due to this ability, they put their devs under way too much pressure and stress. That's it. I get it. The poor guy that was put out there, the poor developer that was put out there by Activision Blizzard to have to make that announcement of the mobile game and make that the keynote speech, he was collateral damage. And I feel bad for him. But you should also feel equally bad for the guy that paid the money to get there. We don't know what his financial situation is. That developer's making good money, okay? The guy that was up there that, that got a lot of that flack. We don't know what this guy's situation is that posed that question. He could have put some of his life savings to go on there because he's such a big fan. And now he's being probably bombarded, I'm pretty sure, with, with sentiments on social media everywhere because people in your realm, Jason, have made it cool and made it okay to call this guy an asshole, an a-hole, okay? That's not fair. That's not good. And you should be able to reach across the aisle and understand his plight if you want people to understand the plight of a developer that's making good money. This guy gave up his good money to come to an event to where the keynote is always supposed to be PC-related because, again, the customer is always right. Whether you like it or not, Jason, sorry. And instead of you getting mad at the customer, you get mad at the publisher slash Activision Blizzard Bobby Kotick for putting that developer on the front line. The customer has every right to question the goods and services being rendered to them, okay? I support you, I'm expecting X, Y, Z. I'm supporting you extra by paying money to come to this event that you're completely benefiting from. You know why I came here. You know why you created this event. I came here for a specific reason. Where's what I'm looking for, period. 
What also confuses me is his very anecdotal approach to why gamers need to calm down. Because you're happy, Jason, with the game with games, doesn't mean the average gamer is happy, okay? And this same anecdotal approach to why he feels gamers should calm down is also overshadowed by his rhetoric written tone. I mean, to the contrary, the quality in games is down and feel carbon copy from the last gen to many gamers. It's all about graphical fidelity nowadays. It's all about the polygons and compute units. That's why gamers are mad. And if you took the time, Jason, to reach across the aisle as you want gamers to do, and I agree with you, they should do that. They should educate themselves more. But you guys gotta educate yourselves more too. You can't just sit there and say what you said in that video. I have an audience and I'm supposed to just, I just work for my audience. Young has an audience too. So if you want Young to educate himself about what's going on on, on the side that, you ex, that your expertise lies on, then you need to do the same. And again, one of the most egregious things about what was said here in this lecture was that Young is stoking hate. He's stoking hate because he's passionate? Well, what about you stoking hate towards disgruntled gamers when you made it, when you when you belittled that guy, when you're belittling gamers saying that they're entitled and you got other people in other publications calling these people a-holes? Are you stoking hate too? Because I'm pretty sure that this guy is getting harassed as well. The hypocrisy is oozing here and I, and I hate to seem overworked, but this is just how I talk, you know, for one. But... I've never, I, 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 I've never seen anything like this in a long time from someone who seems to be as smart as Jason. It just bewildered me. So my final takeaway from all of this is, at the end of the day, even though your boy MM2K has worked out, Jason is human like the rest of us. When the time is right, our flaws emerge when people put us humans too high on a pedestal. Jason is great as a journalist that uncovers closed door secrets, but as far as opinion writing, I'm going quit, to quote Fresh Prince and say, mm, well, of course not. And that's it from your boy <laughs> MM2K. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? As I always tell you, you can come with me or come at me. It don't matter to your boy. But if you like what you heard, you know where to find me. I'm on the corner every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out my links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your boys, TRS and... Your boy, Dirk Griggity, is called Scram Punks. We do it every Wednesday. Check it out on this channel, pntsnetwork.com, for more information. And last but not least, support my brethren, the broadband bullies. We're doing the damn thing. We got the clothes. We got the, 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 the trinkets. We got everything. Check out that Patreon link. Check out that Discord link. You know what I'm saying? And as always, as always, don't be a hypocrite out here. Know what you don't know. And you have a wonderful gaming day.